to like 92, but I only ever averaged below, I think it was David Hetter in the final. He beat what's in front of you. Somebody's averaging 82, it's pointless throwing 110 average when an 80 falls in up. It, it's just one of those, you do enough to get over the line, and I did that tonight. Uh, yeah, hi Joe, congrats uh, on winning tonight. Thank you. Um, it's the first time you, you've been playing in front of a, uh, like an all-orange all crowd here in, in the Netherlands, first time in the Premier League in the Netherlands for you. Yeah. Um, did you feel like a different a difference between this arena and all the arenas in the UK? Um, probably, yeah. I, I was looking forward to this one because I knew that it was one of the arenas that had the biggest capacity. And, um, Obviously, when I think Raymond played here, whenever it was three, four years ago, whatever it was, it was it was incredible. You know, the atmosphere was was incredible. So I was I was really looking forward to playing here, and I think Dublin's another one. You know, big capacity, and obviously Leeds being from Yorkshire. But this one, I'd like to say, especially to be a Dutchman in front of his crowd, is, is really special. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The last couple of weeks, you had some troubles with your with your form. You you, you lost the, the first games. Did you expect that you could do something like this tonight? It's one of those, it, the, there's no easy games in the Premier League, I thought two weeks ago I think I would have been massive favourite to beat Gary tonight, but then the way Gary performed last week in the Premier League, then he went on to carry, carry on in the um, on the Pro Tours, I think I was second favourite tonight, it's just, that's the way darts is, it's form, form is a, is a, is a strange thing and with, with good form it brings confidence and I think I think the performance tonight against Gary was, was really pleasing because it was hung in there and it, I, I showed what I made of, but the other two was really scrappy, but like I say, the, the, the original aim at the start of the night was to get through the first game and see what happens and obviously to win it against the Dutchman is, is incredible. Mm -hmm. it's, it's your first year as a Premier League player now, um, how do you cope with the, the, the busy schedule from Pro Tour to Premier League and then Pro Tour again in Germany next weekend, how do you...? Yeah, it's really tough. I, um, I think sort of when it was obviously it's not been the, the same for the last couple of years with the COVID, but when it was the last the last time it was, you know, properly, you know, away every every minute and then I used to think when the Premier League players pulled out of their pro tours I thought, well they're just being lazy and whatever else. I get it now. I hundred percent get it. Um it's week seven, I'm absolutely knackered. Mm -hmm. Absolutely knackered. Are you are you playing in Germany? No, I'm not playing in Germany. And that, that that's what yeah. I was gonna turn next. There's, there's there's no value in me missing Barnes, it's 25 minutes from my house, and no value in missing, me missing Wigan, it's 50 minutes from my house. Neither house them, it's two pro tours. It makes perfect sense to, you know, have a strategic sort of, of miss, miss that weekend. And obviously it's, it's Mother's Day this weekend as well, and obviously what happened last year with my mother, it's going to be a, a difficult time for me and my family, so it made perfect sense to miss this weekend. Thank you, and have a good rest. Thank you.